Welcome to Blueprint Reading. This class is going to focus mostly on mechanical blueprints and specifically welding blueprints. However, I wanted to introduce you to some blueprints that you might find in the job place. These can include things like structural blueprints for houses, uh, mechanical blueprints like we talked about, uh, machining blueprints, and also electronic blueprints. Uh, there's other, other varieties as well, but those are the ones that we're going to touch on today. So most blueprints will have a title block in them. The title block will give you a lot of information that you might need, including you know, how many iterations you've gone over, uh, what the scale is. You can see that there's a scale bar here. Um, you know, how many different pages there are, uh, whether or not what your material list is, if you're looking at uh, machining uh, blueprints, uh, what some of the processes you'll do, so whether or not you are machining before and after welding, or if you're machining after, on, you know, only after welding, um, and what your dimension, you know, what your dimensions are, and uh, what your units are. So you'll find this on most blueprints, normally down in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, a lot of the blueprints I'm going to show you, then maybe that's been cut off. But what we're looking at here is an elevation blueprint. Um, Pardon the quality of the photo. I had to borrow some of these from online and I didn't have great examples, but an elevation blueprint is a common blueprint that you might see. There's not a ton of information on here, but basically it's to give, say a homeowner or a builder, a view of what the finished house will look like. So like I said, there's not a lot of, there's no dimensions or, or scale necessarily on these, there, though there might be in some cases. Uh, you wouldn't actually use this for the construction process. This is just more of a uh, overview of what the house will look like when it's finished. Um, if you're looking at stuff that's a little bit more specific to building or code, um, you would have like a, a wall section here. And so you, this would be a detailed view that would be in a blueprint package for a house. And what this shows is what you, you know, a cross section of what your wall would look like, including your foundation, um, your slab, and all of these number callouts would then have a list over on the side that showed um, what all of these these values are. So uh, your dimensions that you might be dealing with, or what the materials are, or um, you know, in the case of this, what your soil compaction is and what your drainage is. Um, all of these things are would be included in a cross sectional cross section uh, wall print. And so what we have here is a combination of a floor plan along with the electrical diagrams. So um, with the floor plan, you can see where your walls are at, but this is actually showing the, you know, the routing, not necessarily the exact routing of the wiring, but uh, how all of the different uh, circuits are, are laid out from, from the uh, breaker box. So these are like a more detailed version that you'd find in a blueprint package if you were if you had a, a package for building a house. And you know your typical uh, blueprint package is going to be 20, 30 pages, maybe even more that are different blueprints of the house and different structures. And so you'll have like zoomed in details like we had the cross section of the wall. You might have something specific to you know like a dormer install on a roof or, a bump out for a window or something along those lines. Um, you know, and this is just a, a basic floor plan. You can see, you know, how your doors are supposed to open, um, things like that, where your window openings are going to be. And like I said, you have the extra detail of where your sockets are and where your lights are going to be and how those lights are, where the switches for those lights are going to be, things along those lines. So this is kind of the idea of um, what we saw with elevation. So this is this is a blueprint of a metal staircase. There are a few things in here that um, we'll go over later on in class, but you can see some, you know, some detailed uh, bump outs here where you have a different scale and they're showing um, different details here. You also have some weld call outs. So we'll learn what these weld call outs stand for. Also, um, you have you know some some hardware and other um, other features in here that you might might look into, and so this this blueprint 
you can see your title block down here. Um, you can see what your dimensions are in, what your tolerances need to be, all of that. Um, this blueprint is paired with the next one, which is this blueprint here. And then you can see in here, um, this is almost like that floor plan. It's showing you a different view, but it's showing you a lot more detail on how things are put together. Um, once again, a, a, you know, you have a lot of weld callouts here uh, for your different type of weld beads, um, as well as you know what you you want your radius to be and your different reference points and all this other stuff. Once again, you have your title block down here, and then some fabrication notes as well that that are talking about you know, the specs that you need on your material as well as uh, on your, your welding. Here's something that's a little bit more simple, um, not nearly as complicated as that uh, staircase. This is just a basic uh, cabinet. Um, so once again, you have some weld callouts here. Uh, you have your dimensions. You have a little title block down here, but then you also have up on the top a bill of materials. And so if you were putting this together and you were going out and wanted to purchase everything for it, this would be your, this would be your purchase list. So this is, you'd buy all these things. You know, sometimes you might be, uh, you know, say if you were uh, buying some sheet metal, you might buy a big piece of sheet metal that you'd be able to cut multiple smaller pieces out of that sort of thing. So this might not be your exact purchase list, but it gives you an idea of what you're looking for. Um, and then, like I said, you have weld callouts, you've got whole locations, um, and you can see here, this is kind of like that uh, elevation. This is, this is a view where you can see you know, 3D, what you're looking at, what your end product's gonna be, and then all of these views are different angles and different places where you can see like the callouts for like the feet and um, stuff along those lines. And then finally, what we have here are some uh, electronic schematics. And so schematics, they're called schematics, but essentially they're blueprints. Um, what you're looking at here is just a layout for, um, you know, for, for a circuit board. And you can follow the traces of your positive and negative elect electrical um, circuits through here. You have different callouts for um, different components in here and um, we don't really need to go into this in, in any kind of detail because we're not really going to be call, um, you know dealing with this in class but I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that you look at and then here is a much more complicated one and so in this case you can see that you know we have two two lines coming in and two lines going out and we're amplifying here whereas in this case, you know, we have two pinouts that are, you know, nine pin pins and another pin here. You know, like there's a lot of information going in and out of whatever the schematic for this is. And um, I don't even know what it's for. I just grabbed it because it's an interesting image and it gives you an idea of, of kind of how all of this works. So or what this might look like as far as a, an electrical schematic. So that's what we've got for today. Um, just a brief introduction into the different kinds of blueprints. So have a good day.